Can you imagine a world without power? A world where our digital lifelines, the internet, mobile communications, even electricity itself are knocked out? This isn't the premise of a dystopian novel, but a potential reality if a powerful solar storm were to strike Earth. Our journey begins with the sun, the fiery heart of our solar system. It's not just a life-giving star, it's also a source of powerful eruptions of energy and charged particles known as solar storms. These celestial tempests, while breathtaking in the auroras they paint across the sky, hold the potential to disrupt Earth's magnetic field, causing widespread power outages and damage to vital infrastructure. Solar storms originate from the sun's surface, driven by its dynamic activity. The most impactful for Earth are coronal mass ejections, gargantuan explosions that sling billions of tons of solar plasma into space. A direct hit from a potent coronal mass ejection can overwhelm Earth's magnetic field, solar flares, intense bursts of radiation while less massive than coronal mass ejections, can still disrupt radio communications and impair satellites. These storms are measured on the G scale, ranging from minor to extreme. Now, history serves as a stark reminder of the perils posed by solar storms. In 1859, the Carrington event, the most powerful solar storm on record, caused chaos worldwide. Telegraph systems were disrupted, with some even catching fire. Auroras were seen as far south as Kaaba. In 1989, a significant storm led to a nine-hour power outage across Quebec, affecting millions. In the year 2000, the Bastille Day storm, a potent flare, triggered radio blackouts and satellite disruptions. Fast forward to our modern age, our reliance on technology makes us even more vulnerable to solar storms. A severe storm could damage power grids, disrupt communications, and harm satellites. Geomagnetically induced currents in long power lines could overheat and damage transformers, causing extensive blackouts that could last weeks or months. GPS signals and satellite-reliant communications could be impacted affecting navigation, emergency services, and financial systems. Increased radiation could damage or even destroy satellites vital for weather prediction, communication, and military purposes. So how do we protect ourselves? Mitigating the impacts of solar storms requires foresight and investment. Early warning systems like NOAA A's Deep Space Climate Observatory monitor solar activity, providing up to an hour's warning of approaching coronal mass ejections. Power grids can be made more resilient with shielding technologies for transformers, surge protectors, and operational procedures to quickly isolate affected areas. Key systems such as communications and navigation should have redundancies to reduce reliance on satellites and maintain functionality during a storm. Governments and businesses need to have contingency plans for dealing with extended power, outages and disruptions, prioritizing vital infrastructure. The future of space weather protection is a continuous endeavor. Research focuses on improving solar storm forecasting, developing more robust technologies, and enhancing coordination between governments and the private sector to ensure a swift response in the event of a major storm. To sum up, solar storms are a natural phenomenon with the power to disrupt our modern way of life dramatically. Understanding them and preparing for their potential impacts is not just prudent, it's essential. It's a reminder that even as we reach for the stars, we must also protect our home here on Earth.